Week after week, Manchester City's Phil Foden has been gifting fans with standout performances. The young star displays undeniable talent, electric speed and intelligent gameplay that emulates some of football's greatest. And he's only 20 years old. Foden seems the favourite to make it three Man City stars in four years to be named PFA Young Player of the Year after Leroy Sané and Raheem Sterling. But fans will be even prouder of the youngster they call the Stockport Iniesta. There are not many players whose entire career and life in general revolve around a single club. And certainly not many players who can say that about Manchester City. Foden was born in Stockport, Greater Manchester in 2000, the same year that the citizens secured their promotion back to the top flight after a win at Blackburn. Foden joined the club at the age of four and signed his academy scholarship in 2016. He broke several records in the 2017-18 season, his first as part of Man City's first team, becoming the youngest English player to start in a Champions League match, the first player born in the year 2000 to start a match in the competition, and the youngest player to earn a Premier League winner's medal. Man City manager Pep Guardiola has never shied away from reassuring fans of his growing faith in Foden, even if some believed he held the youngster back for too long. Quinn is the most, most, most talented player I've ever seen in my career as a football player manager. He has everything to become one, one of the best players, uh, not just in England. So only has a problem. Sometimes his manager don't put it in the start 11. So hopefully in the future can, can improve. And it did improve. Following the three-month suspension of English football in 2020, Foden was involved in 12 of Man City's final 14 games, ending the season with 38 games played, registering eight goals and nine assists across all competitions. Many predicted that the son of Stockport would step into the shoes of City legend David Silva, and that has come true during the current 2020-21 campaign, Foden's official breakthrough season at Manchester City. Involved in six goals in 12 Champions League appearances so far, Foden has made a consistent impact in games alongside and against the world's greatest players. Sitting in the competition's top 10 in total shots, shots on target, where he's first, shot-creating actions, goal-creating actions, where he's first, progressive carries, progressive passes received, Plus minus and expected goals plus minus, where he tops them all again. Foden is also only the second player aged younger than 21 to score in both legs of a Champions League quarter final, after Kylian Mbappe in 2016 17 for Monaco. Foden's thunderbolt against Dortmund sealed the Champions League semi finals for City. And back home, it is no different. Guardiola has finally unleashed his protégé's full potential, and there are no signs that Foden will ever let him down. Though City's depth has meant Foden's appearances in the Premier League's stat leaders are all based on output per 90 minutes, the 20-year-old has been involved in 12 Premier League goals in 26 appearances so far this season, reserving his best performance to help his side break their Anfield curse of failing to win away at Liverpool since 2003. With his goal against Aston Villa, Foden reached 50 combined goals and assists for Manchester City. He is the only player to record 50 goal involvements for Pep Guardiola before turning 21. But it's not like Foden is the only starlet in the Premier League this season. He's just the best one. Youngsters like his teammate Ruben Diaz, Chelsea's Mason Mount, Wolves' Pedro Neto, and Arsenal's Bukayo Saka, amongst others, have all made a worthy contribution to their club's campaigns. 22-year-old Mount, who plays in a similar position to Foden, comes close to the Man City midfielder on 11 goals. 
but it has taken him 34 games compared to Foden's 26. Compare him to his competitors, not Diaz because as a defender it's apples and oranges. He's taken far fewer shots, but is getting more on target. Shots on target per 90 minutes? He's killing them. He's behind them on expected goals, but expected goals per 90 and expected assists per 90? Too good again. Mount has him on shot-creating actions, but goal-creating actions? Not even close. Though some of that could be Timo Werner's fault. In any case, the stats are really just backing up the eye test. Mount, Neto and Saka are all good, may even be very good. But Foden is special. Foden has the world at his feet and will be a part of Man City's success for a long time to come. Thanks for watching. For more great content on all things football, make sure you hit the subscribe button.